Vancouver, are you ready for it? We are just one day away from Taylor Swift kicking off her final Eras Tour shows in the city. it's almost done. If you are not one of the more than 180,000 Swifties lucky enough to get tickets to Taylor's three shows at BC Place, Vancouver still has plenty in store for an enchanted time. We're for more this morning, we are joined by Royce Schwen, CEO of Destination Vancouver. Good morning. Good morning from Swiftcouver. Oh, I love it. You got your bracelets ready to go. Listen, I understand that you have an exclusive announcement that you want to make right here on your morning. Yes, we do. So what started as an April Fool's joke uh, mm -hmm. earlier on this year, and that was that we had reprogrammed the legendary uh, in operation 46 years uh, Gastown steam clock. Uh, visitors from near and far uh, go down to Gastown to see the steam clock. We said, you know what, we're going to reprogram the steam whistles to the tune of Shake It Off. And we had a lot of fun with that. And then we actually talked to the maker of the Gastown steam clock, Ray Saunders, a few weeks ago. And we said, Ray, would you actually be interested in doing this? And 82 year old Ray Saunders loved the idea and said, you know what, let's make this happen. And so that's what we've done for the first time in its 46 years in existence. We have changed the tune of the Gastown steam clock to shake it off from now to December the 13th, which happens to be Taylor Swift's birthday. Oh, I love that so much, and I bet she will too. That is something that we have not seen on any of her stops on this tour. Um, Royce, your website has a list of Taylor-themed events happening all over the city. So give us a sense of what Swifties on that side of the country can look forward to. For sure. Our, our community has really embraced this opportunity with Taylor Swift coming here the last three days of her tour, of course. Whether you are in a restaurant, whether or not uh, you're shopping, uh, one recent example, a current example right now is the Capilano Suspension Bridge. They do this fantastic uh, holiday lights program and they're doing the uh, Taylor's version of the holiday lights and they've got all sorts of Taylor Swift inspired activities and songs and things happening at the Capilano Suspension Bridge. We also have Grey Line uh, uh, sightseeing and what they've done is they set up a double decker Taylor Swift karaoke bus that will oh, be doing fine. city tours and they will jam up with karaoke singers uh, doing Taylor, Taylor Swift songs, driving around the city uh, and having a lot of fun. And there's so many more activities going on. There are 13 signs with Taylor Swift lyrics around the city that people are uh, walking around and exploring the city and getting their selfies and taking their pictures with the signs starting with Swift Coover. Oh, I know. We've been showing some of those signs. It's so much fun to see. And, you know, having just gone through that experience here in the city of Toronto, it really does inject just this feeling of positivity and a lot of sparkles uh, into the city. Hey, I was curious about, you know, here in Toronto, they did what they called like tailgate parties. So people would come and they'd come dressed up before the concert and they'd hang out and share bracelets. But there's not something like that happening in Vancouver, I understand. What was the decision around that? But the decision came from working with Taylor Swift's crew and really around security at the end of the day and, and, and protecting the perimeter of the stadium. We know in these last shows that a lot of people will converge downtown and our downtown is very, very compact. And so we really want to make sure that the experience that uh, residents and visitors from all over the world coming here is going to be incredibly safe. Uh, there'll be lots of opportunities throughout the community to exchange bracelets in all kinds of different areas of the city. And so that's why we made that decision. It really is to have uh, everybody have a really great and safe experience. I bet it's a really fun guessing game in Vancouver right now about who's going to show up because it is the end of this tour. So will Travis Kelsey be there? Will Ryan Reynolds and his family show up? Like who is coming to the city must be the game that a lot of people are playing. Um, do you have any insight for us of anybody big who might be coming to the stage? I have no insights. We know people are coming up because, as you know, we're just north of L.A., and that is a quick trip up for, uh, for our friends in the U.S. So we, we've had word that people are coming up. I can't confirm exactly who is coming up. Oh, well, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, last question for you, Royce. When final numbers come in, the Eras Tour is on track to be the highest grossing tour in music history, which really speaks to mm. the power of the industry of Taylor Swift. What does it mean to Vancouver's reputation that Taylor is ending the tour in that city? Well, boy, what a coup. And hats off to our partners um, who, who reached out to Taylor to have this tour end here. 
And it's a huge boon for our visitor economy. We expect over 157 million in uh, economic, I would say positive commerce impact to the city, especially during a time of the year where it's typically a little slower. But the thing is that it will expose Vancouver to maybe a lot of people who haven't really thought about the city or don't know about the city, and they're gonna get to see all kinds of uh, uh, perspectives of the city from what uh, fans will be doing and sharing their selfies and sharing their images and their experiences here in the city. And we couldn't ask for anything uh, more positive during this time of the year that hopefully returns people to Vancouver in future months and future years who will come back and visit us. Listen, I remember going to Vancouver in like Expo 86. This has nothing on that. Just you wait, Royce, in the city of Vancouver. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me from Swiftcouver. <laughs> if you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.